I understand today at about 4.35 p.m., um, the Singapore Police Force released a statement uh, which uh, covers uh, certain posts that were made by the candidate in one of the candidates in St. Kang West, uh, that's uh, Raisa Khan. Um, so what we'll do is uh, Raisa will uh, make a short statement and thereafter I will take questions from the, from the media. Okay? Come Raisa. My intention was never to cause any social division but to raise awareness to minority concerns. I apologize to any racial group or community who have been hurt by my comments. My remarks were insensitive and I regret making them. I feel really passionate about minority issues regardless of race and in my passion I made improper remarks and I have to be accountable for them. I will fully cooperate in any police investigations. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Raisa. So um, I'll take questions from the press. Yes, Singh, Afika, what is ahead. your position on the uh, social media post and how is the party supporting her through the investigation? Well, uh, because it's uh, a matter which is under police investigations at the moment, it's probably best I don't uh, make specific comments on the posts. Um, but uh, of course, uh, the Seng Kang team is here with Raisa, the party leadership is here and that's how we support our candidates. Oh, Mr. Singh, if this, this were to affect uh, her candidacy or the team as a whole, yes. how would the party react or respond to this? And, uh, thank you, Wyman. Uh, it's a bit speculative now. I understand uh, investigations are still ongoing, so uh, we'll have to allow that process to take its course, and only then can any question of, um, of the nature that you ask uh, be really answered uh, uh, more specifically. Um, I think Ms. Raisa Fund uh, yesterday posted an Instagram post yes. talked about smear campaigns. Uh, I was wondering if the party can share a little bit more about I mean, what, uh, what happened before this police report. Uh, came out. Well, uh, I don't want to connect the two to suggest that the, 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 uh, the post yesterday, which, which I have to look at, I haven't uh, specifically seen it, but uh, I, I don't think it's wise to connect the two. I think the police have... Uh, identified two specific posts and an investigation uh, has been is ongoing because of those two posts so perhaps I should restrict my comments on those. Well, Mr. Singh, do you see this as a failure in perhaps the party's candidate vetting process or uh, were you aware of these kinds of um, online comments where you felt that maybe there was nothing wrong with them? Um, okay, um, I was not aware of those uh, posts but I would like to say that um, this is uh, the youngest candidate on the WP slate um, that generation has completely grown up on social media uh, and for me personally I don't encourage uh, and I would be actually a bit disappointed if our candidates would try to sanitize their past uh, and I think they should be upfront and authentic to the public uh, this is who they are uh, and in the event there are certain posts or certain comments that they, have, they may have made which uh, are untoward uh, then I would expect them to explain themselves and that's how I think that generation who has lived on social media from their adolescent years uh, will have to understand um, uh, the difference between what you do on social media and what happens when you move into the public realm. I just think this incident has raised a lot of questions about the candidate selection. So yes. uh, how does the party vet their candidates before fielding them and how is it applied to all the candidates? Uh, thank you, Afifa. So uh, the most, one of the most important considerations is to see whether that individual on the ground um, is able to connect with the public, can empathize with the public, and uh, essentially is able to represent voters and their interests. Uh, and so Raisa has been working the ground uh, for about a year. Uh, when she has uh, undertaken meet the people sessions, for example, uh, uh, I have, I know that she takes each case very seriously, uh, regardless of race, regardless of religion. Uh, she's very um, uh, vested into what the issue uh, is the resident is uh, facing and what help that person needs. So I, I think those are very important criteria for me personally uh, to consider someone for candidature, whether you are able to put yourself and walk a mile in the shoes of, of someone who needs help and assistance. So I've got no, um, uh, um, no regrets for fielding a candidate who is like them, who is prepared to um, walk, walk with residents and solve their problems and issues. And I think that's an important criteria uh, which 
uh, resulted in Raisa being uh, selected as a candidate for the Workers' Party. In the police statement, a uh, very specific charge is made of yes. causing enmity uh, yes. against other, uh, among different groups. Yes. Uh, regarding race and religion. Yes. Uh, what is, I know you can't comment on the investigation, but what is the party's stance on a specific charge like this? Uh, right. Maybe you can elaborate on that. Well, uh, I, I would say that the charge itself uh, has a very important uh, component in it, which includes intent and knowingly doing it. So I think that's a key issue that, uh, uh, that the section, uh, I, I shouldn't say charge, that the section of the penal code states uh, she hasn't been charged yet. Uh, so, so, and she may not even be charged. But I don't want to. I don't want to, uh, you know, say anything which uh, could be interpreted, you know, in a certain way. But the, if you look at the, the specific section, uh, it requires you to knowingly do something, and you must have the intention of wanting to create this uh, animosity. So I think I will leave my comments there, and I think Raisa's statement has uh, put into perspective uh, her position on that. How will it affect the campaign? Will Raisa be joining the team further on for the Sengkang team uh, in terms of how the visit of uh, are you going to, I mean, what, what are the further actions that the party will take and what will Ms. Han take? She will, she will continue with uh, the campaign uh, and after the campaign we will have to review this episode of course. But Mr. Singh, the police probe leads to something more serious, yes. uh, maybe even before polling day, what yes. will the party do? Well, I think I'll have to wait when that happens and if uh, indeed the police uh, um, the Attorney General's chambers uh, uh, take uh, another step forward and, and, and depending on what they do, I think it'll be best for me to comment at that point.